every weekend there are thousands of escape attempts. I'm not happy about this. I'm pretty sure you love that bike more than you love me. <gasps> if you go dirt bike riding, it's me or the bike. Make your choice. I choose the bike. A major problem for male motorbike riders is the conflict of two love affairs. We try to have a relationship with a woman and a motorbike at the same time. To any sensible woman, this sounds crazy. Why spend thousands of dollars every year to hurt yourself, then come home smelly, dirty, exhausted and miserable? Because as usual, you failed miserably in your ongoing battle with gravity. Wouldn't it be better just to stay at home with the wife and kids? Of course, the answer is a resounding no. Essentially, a male is a biological mechanism similar to, say, a baboon or snail, only more likely to pick his nose and less likely to do housework. Our hormones are principally concerned with two main issues, sex and getting out of the house. This is why dirt riding is more than just a hobby. It's a fundamental part of who we are as men, finding very expensive ways like motorbikes to get out of the house. Unfortunately, we often get sex and motorbikes confused. For some reason, men think that a kick-ass wheelie is sure to attract fertile young women or motivate the wife to try that kinky stuff from the Kama Sutra involving leather masks and gerbils. The problem gets worse by about our 10th crash. The brain is quite scrambled and we start to get sexually attracted to other riders, wildlife and nearby trees. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. You probably think I'm saying the typical motorbike rider has the same intellectual capacity as a dog. Unfortunately, we are way worse than that. But men are similar to dogs in that we love pissing to mark our territory. Research indicates that at least 38.2% of our reason for dirt riding is the ability to urinate on trees over a large area. There is a deep-seated satisfaction to believing you rule over thousands of acres of new territory every ride. This is why we spend thousands of dollars to beat ourselves to a bloody pulp every weekend. Sure, it would be easier to spend the money on a gold-plated hammer and beat yourself all over the body every Sunday morning. Or you could hire local thugs to beat you senseless every weekend in the comfort of your own home. But you don't get to piss all over the countryside and establish yourself as the dominant male in your territory. And of course, we need to go back every weekend to maintain ownership of that territory. Sounds ridiculous? Of course it is. But we are dealing with males here. You have to understand that we men don't think a lot, if at all. Most of our behaviour is genetically programmed at an instinctive level and governed by the biological imperative to reproduce. It's what evolutionary biologists technically refer to as being a dickhead. To make matters worse, this programming of young boys often is enhanced by older adult dickheads, commonly known as fathers. They will show their sons photos of mini bikes. Some will even have in bikes surgically implanted within the womb to begin the indoctrination as soon as possible. The young male is shown how to wheelie in strollers and prams and subconsciously knows the only way to make daddy really proud is a fractured limb before 10 years of age. Now this may sound like a sick addiction that fathers just brainwash into their sons. And you would be right of course, but it's part of being male. This shit really worked well when we had to hunt down woolly mammoths to feed the tribe. 
In this bland modern existence, we need to invent new crazy ways to hurt ourselves. So ladies, take pity on your man who is struggling with his identity as a male in this post-feminist era. Yes, we want to learn to listen better, show our feelings, find your G-spot, hug you without getting horny, and ask for directions when we are lost. And yes, we will suck at all of these things anyway, because we are just modern cavemen who discovered the razor and how to shave. But if we can find socially acceptable ways to release our inner idiot, we will be a shitload happier trying to be a better man for you. Look, most of the things that make us feel like men aren't very politically correct anymore. Fist fights, starting wars, rape, pillage, genocide, pissing in the lounge room, picking our nose, and of course, hunting the woolly mammoths. But when we are out there riding our dirt bikes badly, at some primeval level, we are also hunting the woolly mammoth badly. We will return home empty-handed, bruised, battered, and whining like a little child. But deep down, we have connected with our cavemen ancestors, and we will be better men for it. How was the ride? Good. It was awful. I hurt everywhere. I'm gonna need a massage. <laughs> oh, my hero.